To serve everything from one server, we need to work on our node application. We need to deploy this onto a host, which is capable of executing our node.js code, for example, Heroku, but and that's the new thing. We now don't just need to render our routes there, but in addition, now we also need routes that serve our React files. So the single page application we got there in the end. And that is new. It isn't too difficult though. What we need to do in the end is we need to grab our build application. So we still run npm run build here on the React side. We can do that right now to apply our latest style changes. So we still need to run npm run build here, but then we will grab our build folder and copy it over into the backend folder. Though, before we do that, let's double think about our production environment variables in React. The backend URL now will be a different one, or to be precise, it will be the one where our node application will be served on later. Now, in my case, this is correct here. This is the URL under which I will still serve my node application later. But if you now wanna serve this on a new Heroku project or on a different node hosting provider, then you need to ensure that you find out which URL you will have after you deployed your node app and enter this here. So in my case, this should be fine though. So let's now grab the build folder and go back to the backend folder and there maybe add a public folder and copy everything that's in the build folder. So we'll actually grab the content of the build folder into this public folder here. The name is up to you, but public is the more common name you would choose for that. Now we wanna ensure that everything in the public folder is statically served. And we did something similar already in app.js with our images. So in the end, we can copy this line here and add it after, and that's now really important, add it after our routes here. It also means that this middleware here where we handle unknown requests is no longer needed because now I wanna say any request going to any URL will be served statically. So here I removed that filter at the beginning and I wanna serve my public folder here just like this. So what I'm saying here is any request which reaches my backend, which was not handled by these routes, and I need to do this first so that my API still works, but any request that was not handled by these routes will now be handled by this route. And this route will simply return the content in the public folder. So for example, the index.html file. Now, if we rethink this solution, however, it doesn't look that great anymore. Indeed, we would serve everything in that folder statically, and that generally is something we wanna do because we wanna ensure that, for example, any JavaScript file and any CSS file that is requested from our React app can be served. But, and that's now the problem, this alone is not enough. We can move this back up there, actually, to our other static serving solution here, so that we simply register this as another static path, where we basically say, if you're requesting something which does not start with uploads images, we'll see if we find a file here and we will serve it. What this unfortunately won't do is it will support our front-end routes. If we are on our running React app and we go to slash auth there, so in the front-end now, then the request which gets sent to Express is actually that we're looking for an auth folder and by default for an index.html file in there. And of course we have no auth folder here in the public folder. So this works for the initial index.html file and it works for all the JavaScript files and all the CSS files, so for all the assets we need here, but this does not work for our different routes. To make that work, I will now go to that place after my other routes and use a new one where I wanna catch all unhandled requests because here I now want to set up a middleware function with request response and also next, of course, where I will always return the index.html file. So in here, the idea simply is that I call res send file, and that's a method provided by Express, where I send back a response that is basically made up of one file. And there, I always, for any unknown route, wanna send back the index.html file, so that the front-end routing 
the React router can take over and resolve the unknown URL. So here I wanna send that file and we can build a path for that with path resolve, where the first argument is dir name. So that constant which is available in Node and Express that gives us the current folder of this app.js file. And then we wanna go into the public folder of course, and in there serve the index.html file. That's my idea here. This file should be served. And with that, we should have a setup where we can request any route and either it's a backend route and these routes kick in or it's a static file like a JavaScript file, then these routes here or these handlers help us or it is anything else. And in this case, we always send back our single page. Now we can also test this here. We can start up our local server and for that, just make sure that in package.json you also add a script like this dev script, which I added here, that allows us to still run this with Nodemon. So add such a script because starting this with Node would not work because that wouldn't take these environment variables into account. And for local development, I wanna use them. So let's use dev, which uses Nodemon. And then run npm run dev to start this Node server locally and let's see whether that works. And locally, we are using port 5000. We can ignore the fact that this image is missing. We'll take care about this later. But what we can tell is that this works. And if I reload on the auth page, this also is getting served. And if I try setting a request here, so our API should be hit, this also works. We can see in the network tab that indeed we sent a request there. We got back our places here, for example. So we are interacting with the API. So this is working, but in addition to that, serving the React app through that very same Node Express app that hosts our backend API is also working. Now also remember what I said earlier on the slide, when you're serving both from the same host, you can also omit these course headers. So I will comment out this middleware. You can leave it here, it's not a problem, but you can also get rid of it. We don't need it anymore. If I comment it out and I reload here, you will see this still works. If I try to log in again, this still works without any errors besides the image which it doesn't find to which I will come back later. So this works and this is now the app prepared for hosting with combined apps where we have Node Express and React in the same project. So with that we should also be able to deploy this Node.js application. So whenever we have a new version of the React app we just build it and then we copy the content of the build folder into the public folder and replace everything in it with it. And once we got that replaced, we deploy our React app here. So how does this work? Well, we use git add again, where we can say added new React app frontend version, whatever you wanna name it. And then we use git push Heroku master again to push this updated node application to Heroku. And this is basically the same application as before, but it now includes our React application and the logic to serve it. So let's wait for this process to finish now. And thereafter, let's visit this URL again. And if we enter it like this, we should see our application. Now you will notice that the image of the user is missing though. And it was there a second ago. Now I will come back to why that is missing in a second, but let's first of all try authentication and so on, if that works. This seems to work. Let's also try creating a new place. Like we did many times before. Let's click add place here. And this really all seems to work. So why are we not seeing the user's image here? Because in general, the deployment seems to be all right. And that's the important thing. I'll come back to that image thing here in the next lecture. But first of all, let me make it really clear that this is now our app, both the React app and the Node API served on one machine, on one server, on one service provider, Heroku in my case here. So we got everything on one server. And this therefore is the other option of deploying this. You can use two hosting providers like Firebase or any other static host for React and then a Node.js hosting provider for the backend for the Node REST API or you use one combined setup. It's up to you which one you prefer. 
Splitting it onto two servers can give you certain performance advantages because requests are split up and not all requests hit the same server. But depending on the size of your app, that also might not really matter. And then you might find it easier to just host everything on one host. Ultimately, it's up to you. I just wanted to show you both alternatives. And now let's find out why this image is missing. 